Hello and welcome back to another day of nail mist. Today we're doing a winter blessed skin inspiration nail. <laughs> and this is from League of Legends. So you'll see the picture that I showed at the beginning. That was Diana, one of my favorite characters that I like to play. And her look um, in the skin line is very like deep and intense. And I tried to do a little bit of an Aurora type nail. Um, not like the Aurora trend, but like the Aurora Borealis, um, look where I like hand painted on a bunch of colors. So I start with like a light color so that they'll pop a little bit more on the dark blue that I created. But yeah, so this is the nerdy nail of the day and it's very colorful. It's very deep and, uh, I, I, this is probably my favorite one so far. And actually it was one of the easier ones. Well, it still took a, like an hour, but the recording was easy, I feel like. So that was good. But I did have to make a couple changes later on that I will talk about. But basically I'm just using a bunch of different gel colors, like a mix of like teals and purples and pinks. Um, and I definitely add more teal uh, than what you're seeing right now. Yeah, I add a little bit more shimmer and then some actual teal to give it a little bit more of a pop because I felt like it was getting a little bit muddy and kind of like mixed. The colors were getting a little too mixed, so I definitely add in more highlights and stuff. And because it's behind the snowflake anyway, like you're not gonna see all of the details, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And yes, here's where the highlighting happens. And I think this is really what makes it pop with the nail, um, the snowflake on top. So yeah, and I'm glad I added that extra bit of turquoise because I was looking at her picture again and I was like trying to get the essence of the winter bliss skin um and I feel like I got closer to it um I did do a mistake here with the snowflake where I was hoping that I could put chrome on top of builder powder and it would wipe off um but it kind of was sticking to everything like I couldn't get it off uh just you know, the parts I wanted it. So um, I changed my plan and mixed in some chrome powder into the builder gel and I built my snowflake with that, which also I probably would have changed in the future knowing now that I should have um, top coated the initial background, but then the chrome would stick to the top coat. So like I couldn't really do that um, as I wanted. So that's okay. I think the background was just a little bit too sticky. Um, but I recovered it, we're good, and I, I think it turned out amazing in the end, even with this idea. And then my boyfriend uh, mentioned that I could do white on top, a little bit of white to kind of make it look a little bit more like it's glowing. Because as cool as it looked with the silver, it didn't pop on the background as much as I would like. Um, so you'll see at the very end here that we are going to add some white. Not quite yet, but soon. <laughs> Once I'm done with all the silver and I am curing between layers and keeping this, you know, um, consistent so that if I make a mistake, I can go back and fix it before I cure the next layer. And yeah, so just a little dollop of this creamy white kind of light color. Um, and then we top coat it. Oh, actually I did builder gel just to smooth it out a little bit because the snowflake was like built up as well. So I did a layer of builder gel and then I did a final layer of top coat. And that's our look. I hope you like it. I think this one was really fun and I had a lot of fun doing it and I'll see you tomorrow. 